Jim Gordon here in the offices of the Richmond Sentinel. Time for another edition of Richmond Stories. Alex Hupka is a registered denturist and registered dental technician who has been serving patients for nearly 50 years. In 1976, he started his career in Winnipeg as a dental technician. In 1987, he owned and operated a full-service dental laboratory for 11 years in Winnipeg, starting in 1987. In 1998, he moved across the country from Winnipeg to Vancouver when he was offered a teaching position in the dental technology program at Vancouver Community College. In 2005, he has won many awards, including the 2005 Denturist of the Year Award for contributions to the denturist industry. Alex maintains a relaxing and welcoming environment in his clinic and is well known for great service and a friendly manner. He's based in Richmond and is serving patients across the Lower Mainland. Aesthetic Denture Studio, as he says, beautiful smiles created by artisans at Aesthetic Denture Studio. Well, you uh, just heard this man's credentials. We're now in Alex's office here at uh, Aesthetic Denture Studio. Uh, and you're sitting in, the, in, your, in your patient's uh, chair. I am. This is the first time for you? It is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for having us here today. Um, I guess what I wanted to start out with, we, we've talked about your credentials as we said off the top. Uh, tell our, our viewers the difference between saying be a dental technician and a dentist. Okay, so a dental technician is somebody who works by prescription to the dentist. Highly skilled people, and they will do everything from implants, orthodontics, dentures, cast partials, and crowns and bridges. A denturist is somebody who works on a patient and everything that's removable can be done. Mm -hmm. But recently, we've also been allowed to now make um, implant bars and uh, implant removable sections for patients as well. So um, that's, that's one of the newest things. But as a technician, I, I made a lot of implant bars and engineered them. And you know, as a technician, uh, when I work with a dentist who works on patients who are normally doing root canals and fillings and normal things dentists sure. do, I actually have the ability to engineer implant bars or I have the ability to engineer and design crowns. So when we're making something in combination with a dentist, dentist doing restorative work, he'll be doing things like uh, you know, making crowns, filling teeth, doing veneers, all the things that are excellent at. Mm -hmm. We can design crowns for them before they even do it. So when we're making somebody a removable partial, the crown I design will interlock with the partial. And so if I'm going to a <coughs> dentist or a viewer is, are they, so they're contacting you? Are they, uh, is, a, is a dentist sending one of his patients to you or his, or the file or what has to be done? Quite often. Um, the dentists, we have a lot of dentists that refer to us and they're all excellent. The neat thing is they'll see some of my work on a patient and the next thing you know they're referring because nice. we're just dramatically different because of my background. Well, I should say actually you've certainly won a lot of awards. I'm looking at uh, Denturist of the Year awards. Uh, Let me clarify that. Okay, well, okay so, please do. So Denturist of the Year was for, I did a bunch of work for the association. Mm -hmm and that's why they ended up doing it. So I created a magazine for them and I did a bunch of brochures for them. And they tried to give it to me the year before and said, I don't want it. And then they tried to give it to me the following year and I don't want it. And finally they gave up and they just threw it in the mail and sent it. So oh, I yeah. thought, okay, I'll put it up <laughs> on the wall. Honest, actually, what no, I, I just, I was doing it because it needed to be done. Uh, as we said off the top, originally from Winnipeg, and, and we're actually looking at a poster that's on your wall of then downtown Winnipeg in the mid-90s, and that's you in, yeah. in the poster. Oddly enough, it <laughs> is. Um, you have been practicing, as we mentioned, uh, for nearly 50 years. Yeah, uh, I know, it's scary. Right? Looking at you, I'm thinking you started when you were, what, 12? Lots of formaldehyde. <laughs> okay. Uh, what brought you to Vancouver? Uh, well, uh, when we, I had a laboratory for years and I put it up for sale and sold it. And then the next step was to become a denturist because I enjoyed working on patients. And when I had my laboratory, I would quite often go out to dentist offices and, and, and work in conjunction with them chair side. So I had thousands of hours of chair side there. So when we came here, my wife at the time said, well, why don't we move to Vancouver? It's a nice place to be. 
and you want to become a denture so go there so i had phoned him and i said hey you know what i'd like to get into dentures program told him my credentials and said hey by the way we need somebody to teach dental technology so i took the i took the job i actually went out applied for it i got the job so i took the job and we moved out and got the right off the move it was good which uh, anything, <laughs> i mean winnipeg's a great city but uh, I, the winters you couldn't i mean we complain about the rain here and oh, it's a snow occasion yeah, but, yeah. Uh, i can go on that for <laughs> hours uh, doing this as long as you have done this, can yeah. you talk about just some of the advancements for our viewers, if the viewers out there that may need your expertise, just even in this century, have there, have there, have there been rapid, I don't know that you said that, that to me off camera, that the, the digital aspect is something that was uh, yeah. in high demand, but now all of a sudden people are moving away from that. Experience. Well, they're not moving away from it. I think they're not satisfied with the ease of use. And I, you know, I've heard of people buying these machines and then just sit in the offices, but what people are looking for is more of what I do and we do what we call a precision denture where we're actually measuring everything and knowing exactly where your upper and lower is in your skull and, and duplicating that on the machine and, and going through all the processes and the art mm -hmm. of actually doing it and, and to make somebody look real so it doesn't look like a denture so it's good enough to fool me if I meet you. That's the level I like to work at. And I mentioned uh, digital. I asked you a bunch of questions there, but I mentioned digital. Can you explain what that is to our viewers as well? Well, digital is when you, well, okay, for crown and bridge, when you're having crowns made, excellent. Right. It's a static, you know, they'll, they'll cut down the tooth. The tooth is static. There's no movement, there's no tissue. So they'll be able to uh, scan the tooth and, and send that to a file and then the a computer, a CAD CAM computer will mill it out and then you get a crown that fits you nicely. Right. Whereas in dentures, uh, the issue that we're having is that you, you still have to take an impression and you and, and you still have to be able to scan that and, and get it. But if your impression's not good, which is your your basis, right. the whole thing's not good. So I, I, I think, I don't want to say a lot of bad things about digital. I think the time is going to come where it's okay we're finally there mm -hmm. but every course i've went to uh will always talk about digital and how good it is and it is good but at the end of the course they'll say it's just not there yet for dentures so it's fair enough yeah, okay but yeah. but you can see it on the horizon oh yeah the, it, the, definitely the day will come uh, and, and the, the problem is when you're trying to scan them out is soft tissue and bone and there's different levels of soft tissue and bone it's difficult to scan something like that because when you're scanning, that's static. Mm -hmm. But yet when you take an impression, you're loading and you're getting the patient to go through muscle movements. So you're knowing where the muscles are, you know where the compression is. So when you take a good impression, you're actually compressing tissue. So when you build something, it's solid. Right. And if the digital uh, denturist or technician can do that, great. It, it's a good product. The other thing is uh, with, with traditional dentures, the way I do it, I actually use uh, the skull. I use what we call cephalometrics, which is measurements of the skull, the shape of your forehead, the angles of your forehead, the profile of your face, the color, the white part of your eyes, which is the sclera, mm -hmm. that gives you the base tones for the tooth. So many things have to be taken into account. And not only that, but the ridges on a person get that way because what happens is a person wears down their ridges through their muscularity. So the physics of their muscularity shaped it. So when you're building a denture, you have to take all those into consideration to get that perfect balance. Let's uh, talk about all that you offer here for our viewers uh, at Aesthetic Denture Studio. Okay, well, we offer uh, full dentures, partial dentures, precision dentures. Uh, if you have a crown that has a precision attachment, and that could be like a crown that a dentist has built, and imagine like a trailer hitch, right. and the partial has the other half of the trailer hitch, it can hook together. We can also design that before it happens. And you know, just basically as precise as you want to get for something that's removable, we, we can build it. If you have implants and we need to build a, a substructure and then a superstructure, absolutely no problem engineering it. So if, if not coming say through a dentist, people can reach out to your office directly if they feel that- Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then we also have many dentists that we refer to. So if you live in a particular area, we have ex excellent dentists in that area, we'll refer you to them. We'll give you a number of options and refer you to them. All the people we deal with are just, yeah. I, I love dealing with the dentists I deal with. They're precise, is, which is- Important. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my thing. Yeah. Precision and cleanliness.
A lot of your patients are seniors mm -hmm. and people are living longer. They are. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you find yourself where you're creating, say, two or three different types of dentures for a person that may be in their 70s, 80s, and even in their 90s or their hundreds? I do, actually. And, and my patients love coming back because they come back and essentially the dentures look like I made them except they're now worn down just from attrition. Right. Um, and the neat thing is about some of the patients that we have that are in their 70s and 80s and 90s, they look amazing. In today's world, I, uh, people are living much, much longer. And patients, well, sometimes, and I know this sounds conceited, but I, they say I wouldn't go to anybody else. And I, 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 I always thank every single person when I've finished. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, they can go anywhere. Uh, that's not conceited yeah. at all. You've been doing this for almost 50 years. Well, thank you. <laughs> you obviously you're know what you're kind. doing. Yeah, yeah. You were telling me uh, off camera before we started that that also with the dentures, you also advise your your uh, clients, uh, your patients, about what to eat and not eat sometimes, especially as they're getting older. Yeah. If you're eating a lot of nuts or if you're eating a lot of fibrous vegetables, you will wear out the teeth faster. Okay. However, uh, patients do like them. And you, you can't stop anybody from wearing I mean, the other thing we, we also ask people to do and some patients don't, some patients do, is not to wear them at night. Because if you're wearing them at night and you're sleeping sideways, you could be wearing them out sideways right. as your teeth grind, and you also wear down bone a little faster. However, there's many patients uh, whose spouses have never seen them without a denture. So those patients, I tell them, hygiene before bed, get up in the morning, hygiene again, and but they know they've been warned. Um, but, you know, can't stop people from doing what they want to do. Uh, hey, it's been great talking with uh, Alex Hupka. He is a uh, registered denturist here in Richmond. I'm also still a registered dental technician. Excellent. Yes, yeah. of course you are. We said that off the top. Yeah. yeah. The website, people can find out more about you? Yeah, it's bcdentures.ca. And thank you very much for your support of the Richmond Center. Thank you so much. You're thank very kind. Thank you, Alex. Thanks. Another Richmond story. I'm Jim Gordon. Thank you for watching.